Hello, my name is Pedro, and um, today we'll be talking about Zion National Park. Zion National Park is located near Springdale, Utah. It is a beautiful area that anybody can appreciate. It is full of glorious views, and is a massive park that was established in 1919, and averages out about 3,662,000 visitors a year. This massive park is 229 square miles and has attractions all over. You can go on hikes, you can see beautiful rock structures as well as caves and streams. However, here at Zion National Park, we do not only focus on the wonderful treasures Mother Nature has gifted us with in the form of landscapes. In order to make sure that we are able to fully appreciate the glory of the park, we need to go and look at the smaller wonders found throughout the park. Here at Zion, we have a plethora of animals that have decided to call this place home. We have all kinds of wildlife here at Zion, and there are places in the park that house all of these animals. Whether they are amphibians, mammals, or birds, they have all found their niche here in the park and have decided to make it a home. Zion houses over 78 species of mammals, 291 species of birds, 44 species of reptiles and amphibians, and 8 species of fish. It would take hours to cover the amount of animals we house here, so we'll just give you a quick rundown of some of our guest favorites. First, let's start on everybody's favorite level, the mammals. While traveling through Zion, remember that free-roaming animals contribute to the wilderness and the uniqueness of Zion's National Park. And we must remember that this is their home, and their only home, so treat them with the respect they deserve. Also, on a quick side note, animals may be dangerous, so keep your distance. There are so many animals here in Zion, we will break them into three separate categories, just to make sure that we can be concise. Our first and scariest category here in Zion is that of bats. Because of the cave systems around Zion, we have found many bats here. And one of our most common found bats is that of the spotted bat, or a derma macula maculatum. You will be able to identify this bat by its very large ears, jet black color, and fur in its underbelly that is snow white. They tend to stick near the water, so look for them in places such as springs, creeks, or rivers. They eat only insects, so don't fear them biting you. They also have echolocation like most bats, but their sound is low enough that they can be heard by humans. So they're the loudest bat species. There are also many types of rodents, ranging from rabbits to porcupines and shrews. One that you should really look out for is the North American porcupine. This prickly friend is known to pop out every so often and may poke you. These little guys weigh anywhere from 12 to 35 pounds and are roughly the size of a basketball. Don't let how adorable they are get to you. They can be a real pain. They have quills on their back and can really ruin your hike. Finally, let's move on to mammals you've been waiting for, the carnivores. In the park, we have rare sightings, or should I say, bear sightings, of black bears. Bear with me on this one. They are rare to the park, but they are a sight to behold. They are medium-sized bears and are mostly herbivores. However, they can be unbearable. So if you do spot one, report it to one of the park rangers immediately. Now that we've finished our trip on the ground, let's take a look up to the skies and look at our feathered companions we have here at the park. We have many avid bird watchers that come visit the park frequently. If you're one of these people, you can always visit our website and check out the bird checklist and see how many birds you can spot. We hold over 200 birds here at the park, and keeping track of what you've seen can be difficult. We do have some notable birds that never fail to captivate our visitors. One of the main ones we have here is our Mexican spotted owl. Sadly, this owl is very endangered. We have only roughly 2,000 of them left here in the United States, and as sad as that is, we do have the luxury to say that we have some that decided to call Zion National Park. It's home. If you are a dinosaur fan, you're going to be in for a treat. This bird is a type of raptor. You can tell that it's a raptor by its sharp talons and its carnivore beak. Though they are smaller owls, they are fierce and have no problem taking on many bats here at Zion. These cute little guys tend to be nocturnal, so if you want to see them, stay towards the night and you'll have a higher chance of seeing them. We also have America's favorite bird, the bald eagle. If you are feeling patriotic, keep an eye out for these birds. They have a wingspan of up to 7 feet, and a little fun fact about them 
If you're trying to find a male, look for the smaller birds. And if they're trying to pick a fight, you can see them holding eagle claws and doing really cool display of spinning and acrobatic looking sky cartwheels. These birds are awesome and during, and during nesting season make giant nests that can be up to 9 feet across and weigh up to a ton. Another fun bird to look for is the wild turkey. This is one of our more brave birds that we have here at the park. He's known to jump out at unsuspecting visitors and even jump on top of cars. So make sure you keep an eye out for this festive bird because he might sneak up on you. Our final bird that we would like to talk about at this presentation is our friend the California Condor. This is one of our more impressive birds here. It is the largest bird in all of the United States. Their wingspan reaches up to 10 feet and they have just recently been introduced to the park so you won't see many of them. They look like vultures with a featherless head but they are a sight to behold just because of their size. Now that we have descended from the skies, let's go real low and look at our reptiles. Back to our dinosaur fans, we have many animals here that look like they just came out of a Jurassic Park movie. Here at the park, one of our more monstrous ones is the Gila Monster. These things are massive. They can be up to two feet in size, they have large teeth that latch onto their food, and they release neurotoxins. They are pretty dangerous, so avoid them at all cost. They, mostly, they burrow mostly, so make sure you look out for the holes they make. They are also covered in beads instead of scales. These beads tend to be either pink, orange, or black. They are very distinct when you meet them. They are solitary animals, so don't expect to find more than one in a square mile. On a less monstrous note, let's go take a look at our friend, the desert tortoise. These gentle tortoises love the heat. They love to live in areas that exceed 140 degrees, and they also spend most of their time underground. And for you Radiohead fans out there, a pack of tortoises called a creep. However, they aren't weirdos, and they know what they are doing here, and they are very special. Living anywhere from 50 to 80 years, they're one of our longest living reptiles. While out on the hunt for these little tortoises, beware of a rattle. In this park, you can find many different kinds of rattlesnakes. They are highly venomous and maybe something that you don't want to find here at the park. They are beautiful and misunderstood at the same time. Their rattle is made out of keratin, which is the same thing your fingernails are made out of. Though they fill most people up with anxiety and fear, they tend to avoid people and are only in a biting mood when antagonized, so make sure you avoid them and don't mess with them. Also, if you see them around the park, uh, alert one of the park rangers. Now that we have gone on this exciting trip, let's cool down and move to the water. Zion only has 10 species of fish. Though scarce, they are still an integral part of our ecosystem here. They are food for, any animal, for many animals here, as well as make our lakes a lot more impressive. Here at the park, we have five native species and five species that we have introduced. The list goes as follows. The Virgin River Spine Daisy, the Speckled Daisy, the Flannel Mouth Sucker, and the Desert Suckerfish are our native fish. Our most plentiful fish here at the park is that of the Virgin River Spine Daisy. This fish is a smaller minnow, and sadly it has lost most of the area that they used to inhabit. They used to be endangered, but now, with careful upkeep, they are off that list, and our park has a lot of them everywhere. Our non-native fish are the most popular fish here. They are our rainbow trout, the cutthroat trout, brown trout, channel catfish, and our brook, brook trout. They are sparse, but if you're looking for if you're looking to fish, this is the game you want. Our more popular fish is that of the rainbow trout. They are one of the hardest fighting fish though, so be ready. They grow up to 30 inches and weigh up to 10 pounds. However, there have been sightings of some that are 4 feet and are as heavy as 53 pounds. That's bigger than most of the kids here. They are, known, uh, they are known for being really pretty with a red stripe around their side. Like I stated, you can fish here, but you will need a license. We have over 20 pound trout all over the park that you can catch. Though we do wish that you use a catch and release method, you are more, wel more than welcome to take the fish home and eat them. Our native fish are in high in population, but our introduced fish are in small numbers. So just remember that when you are out trying to fish. On a final note, Though we have gone over a few of our friends here at the park, remember to avoid bothering the animals. This is their home as much as it is ours, so enjoy your time and make sure you let these animals enjoy theirs. Have fun at the park and keep an eye open, you never know what will come out and say hi to you. And if you see any dangerous animals, mostly at our carnivore department, make sure you tell a park ranger. For a full list of our animals, you can always visit our website at www.nps.gov forward slash zion forward slash learn forward slash nature, forward slash animals. So before we let you go, I just need to remind you that here at the park, we do not recommend that you, that you, we recommend that you stay at least 25 feet away from the wildlife. 
This is for your own well-being as well as for the animals. We want them here as long as possible, so don't scare them off. And a quick warning, Zion National Park will find visitors caught feeding the animals. These animals are able to hunt for themselves, so make sure you respect that and have a great day at the park and keep an eye open.